symbols this is either the start of the presentation just like as an intro or they are going to eventually turn it into the system because they already have the white lettering that of course is probably part of their two-tone console yep 4k yep ssd this is where they actually show us the box now there's the dual sense It's gonna be interesting to see how that works when we open it up. You know, let's see if they actually use that motion sensor. Right? Are they. Are they building up to showing us the box? Is that what we Making end games with? used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. All right then. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like jump off or oh, is this the startup? They keep dropping these little teases. I think they're gonna show the box at the end. I'm starting to. Oh, Astrobot, yo. 2020. Ah, I I really hope that's a launch title. I mean, this is the first time we've seen it, obviously, but I really hope it's launch title. Is this where they show the console? Show the console so we can all judge it immediately. Traditional looking system. Can you lay it on its side though? Because it looks like it's just in that vertical. Hmm. Hmm. Initial impressions aren't great as to how that looks. I'll be honest. Uh, it's got like a textured kind of. They do! Whoa! Dude, they, they, showed, they showed their own Lockhart before Microsoft got to show it. Wow! That is a massive deal. Look at all these accessories. There's accessories everywhere. What is happening? What is all this? What? We got headphones. We got remotes. There's control... What in the, what just happened? We hope you've enjoyed the first Whoa, glimpse hold, of our hold future on. today. What, what? You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can say it. only <laughs> be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's That's features alien and where, power. That's like that, who, At PlayStation, like we alien believe where in UFO. generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next.
Thank you for joining us. Ke We're launching later this year and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. I don't know. I mean, that fridge designed for Microsoft doesn't look that weird anymore. <laughs> looking at that. All digital. I have a feeling that's their cheap model. So they're going to go all digital. Probably less hard drive space, I'm going to assume. So we have an all digital model. We have the one that's going to be fully decked out. 825 gigabyte SSD, obviously. There'll be SSD on the other one too, though. 825 gigabyte SSD. <clears throat> And then we have the all digital model that I assume will be cheaper. I'm gonna have to take a look at that overall. But like initial impressions of the design were, hmm, I don't know that it looked so weird, didn't it? All right, so there is the system. Immediately, let me see. Immediately, we have two pieces, right? There, it's obvious. We have a large white shell on this side and then a large white shell on this side that's also where the disc goes in and they definitely showed it on its side so i i feel like it would lay down with the disc drive at the bottom that's weird because it has this obvious uh this obvious uh piece sticking out here for that disc drive okay good enough so take a look at that all digital one it's uh much more symmetrical it makes me think that the disk drive was a bit of an, I don't want to say afterthought, but I think the original system that they were thinking is the one on the right that's all digital, which tells me, and I'm just going to put this out there now, this is probably the last generation with a disk drive. Just going to put it out there. I mean, look at that. The system looks weird with the disk drive on the left. It looks way more natural without the disk drive on the right, doesn't it? Yeah. PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Now, the only thing I can think of with that PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, why people would buy it, is if it is cheaper. They might have to shrink down. That would be weird, though, wouldn't it? If they shrink down the hard drive space. Think about that. Because you will not have a disc to pop in, although you were installing everything anyway, so it's basically the same. Uh, if you think about it, though, no disc drive means that you would want more hard drive space, right? Well, I guess I'm getting one of each. We got to take them both apart, right? That's the way it is. This is going to be one of the strangest systems I've ever taken apart. I'm just I'm just taking this this system in right now. This is hmm. That does look like USB-C on the front right there by the way. If you look at it right below USB-A, like dead center right there. Can I zoom in further? Hold on. That is that is USB-C looks like on the front right there. It's interesting because Microsoft doesn't have any USB-C. So that's actually nice to have that there, right? That option. I like that. I like having that option there. USB-C is significantly better than the regular USBs because it's less of a headache to deal with. I think the the cooling that they have set up is one of the big reasons it looks like this. I think they have two active zones and that's the biggest reason why because you can see two vents on either side here. And I have a feeling they have... They probably have one fan that's going to cool it at the bottom here. And it might even be kind of sideways. It's going to be an interesting thing to open up. I'm very curious how they're accomplishing this. They started going with this white and black two-tone look with the PlayStation VR. I remember that. And they've kind of carried it over. It's interesting. It's interesting. Notice it's a V-shaped design still. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they still, they're still they keeping that V kind of look, right? Hmm. The one with the disk drive looks really weird. The, the one that's all digital looks like a router, but it also, I think, looks a bit cleaner just because it's more symmetrical on the sides. I don't know. The, the Series X looks cleaner overall, but I don't mind the all digital one for the PS5 now that I'm looking at it. I think the reason I was like, what is that on the one on the left with the disk drive? Because it's like asymmetrical. It looks a little, looks like it's going to fall over or something. I don't know. It looks weird. Uh, definitely looks strange. Uh, that design, this is from Ross, <laughs> design definitely means Half-Life 3 confirmed. Hey, you can always dream, right? They could. The SSD in the digital version could be larger, but it's still the same price because it doesn't have the disk drive, which means it will also be missing the 4K UHD ability as well. So I feel like they have to make it up somewhere. It's either going to be cheaper or have a larger SSD. Personally, 
I would prefer a larger SSD if I'm getting the digital edition because I've probably already sat down and decided I'm willing to spend $500 on this generation coming up. Um, but maybe I don't mind, you know, just being all digital. Some people just don't. So I think I think that's fine. I think I think in the long run we would benefit more from uh from having a larger SSD inside, right? Uh, rather than save like $100 because you may end up having to spend $150 to $200 on a SATA for NVMe uh, that we don't even know if it's compatible completely or not. The outsides of these, like the where the white is, that could probably be changed for special editions. Like the, that appears to be a separate shell that they can just change out. They could have different colors for this thing. Uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff they could probably do with special editions. Mm-hmm.